good morning. Um, is it okay for me to just sit because I cannot stand very long? Um, before we, we can uh, share uh, to you the what is Reconstruction Initiative for Social Enterprise and uh, the experience we have uh, through this uh, through the, through the rise, uh, I would like first to sh uh, share to you a little background of what is the foundation for disabled person. Um, FDI was established uh, in 2009 to to provide support to cooperatives and groups of people with disability towards uh, economic empowerment and independence. So we are trying to facilitate employment opportunities and livelihood opportunities for people with disabilities. Um, how can we, what are the activities that we are doing? We are providing bridge financing assistance, uh, business technical support, we are also providing marketing assistance, organizing assistance to the people with disabilities. And if you would uh, notice, um, the spelling of our disabled uh, is, is intentionally uh, spelled, intentionally wrong. <laughs> because um, we, we wanted to emphasize on the abilities of people with disability rather than the disability. So that's, that's why it's that. Um, people at the Foundation of Disabled Persons have uh, five programs, the resource generation, the alliance building, that is why we are very active in the lobbying of um, the present bill, the marketing and uh, institutional and capacity building, and of course, um, marketing and uh, um, marketing and networking. And, um, Uh, but of course, uh, aside from our programs and services, FTI is also very active in emergency response. Um, FTI has been very active in supporting people with disabilities who are victims of Typhoon Sendong in Cagayan de Oro, and also those victims of Typhoon Pablo in Cagayan de Oriental. And of course, lately, the victims, uh, particularly people with disabilities, in Leyte because of Typhoon Yolanda. Um, I would just uh, like to, to show to you the sample houses that FTI uh, uh, has built for this for the past couple of years. As uh, this is our initial uh, support. Uh, to the victims, uh, people with disability, to the victims of uh, typhoon. Um, we had uh, quadruplex mod houses in Cagayan de Oro, and uh, we built uh, 50 houses in uh, Katigal Davao Oriental. And uh, if you would notice, um, our houses are built uh, with paint, and uh, the, the, the people with disabilities are not the vulnerable. So these are also the sample houses we have in Katil. And as you notice, we, we try to make it accessible to people with disability by putting ramps and so that the wheelchairs can be can get inside the houses. Um, but of course, um, may, may I also tell you that even before this typhoon comes or even uh, typhoon Yolanda hit the several provinces of Leyte, we can say that people with disabilities are already experiencing um, exclusion from the various uh, livelihood activities and of course isolation. Uh, because um, still uh, there are many people with disability who are just staying at home, doing nothing, who are unemployed, um, especially women with disabilities because the parents are overly protective to their daughters who have disability. So they tend to be at home. So they are not very um, active in community life. And um, of course, um, the government uh, services, the sheltered workshops created by the government are not enough to, to provide employment for people with disabilities. 
that is why um, a lot of people with disabilities are um, getting to uh, grouping themselves, creating the self-help organizations or the cooperatives in order to engage into livelihood activities. And we are very much promoting cooperatives as a uh, as an SE or the social enterprise because um, FTI is embracing the the highest concept of SE as if there are several <laughs> levels of definition. Where in, um, we are emphasizing that not only the bottom lines like the the profit and the the, the financial and the social, but we are also emphasizing the redistributive quality or function, the redistributive function of us, SE, wherein the profits of the enterprise will go back to the to the to the stakeholders who are the people with disabilities. But um, initially, FPI, when uh, your, uh, Typhoon Yolanda uh, hit later, FPI initially responded by giving emergency relief assistance and by providing materials for uh, temporary shelters. Uh, we were able to do that through the help of the Life Giving Forest, another partner of FPI. Uh, there are uh, young German volunteers who are partnering with us in our reforestation project in different parts of the country. Like for example, in Agusan del Sur, we have around 11 hectares of land. We are doing, uh, we are planting with different species of trees and uh, uh, fruit bearing trees. And of course, we also have in uh, Katiil, uh, some hectares of land, we are also doing reforestation project. And then, um, of course, Um, of course, uh, in Leyte, we are also having a MOA with the local government unit, uh, with the, the provincial of Leyte, who is all, uh, that is also providing us a huge, I hope it will happen, <laughs> a huge uh, um, um, I know, uh, land for reforestation activities. It's, we already have a MOA, it's just a matter of if uh, the process of showing it to us, <laughs> this land, because we definitely we are very ready of doing this. And then, um, um, let, me, let me explain to you first what is RISE. Um, our project in uh, Leyte um, will not stop on providing relief assistance or providing emergency relief. We also have the rehabilitation program for, for, for the victims, especially the people with disability. And I think uh, we cannot do that without the, the support that we got from, from RISE. So, um, RISE is a, uh, RISE is a strategy for poverty reduction, and it, is, it also hopes to to help the Yolanda devastated areas um, uh, to, to recover through the social entrepreneurs, uh, through the social enterprises, and uh, so that they become transfer transformational partners of the poor, the marginalized, and the civil society. Um, Rice is also a was also created to enhance to enhance the government reconstructive initiative, which is seen by most of us as not enough, weak, and ineffective, <laughs> so we are, and then of course, um, RISE is also a product of a action research, uh, action research, uh, we call uh, action research agenda and platform for poverty reduction and addressing inequality through social enterprise and has reconstruction assistance on the land affected areas. So, this research was initiated by Isaiah, by Miss, and by Dr. <laughs> by Dr. <laughs> yes, yes, uh, by uh, Dr. Dakane. But, but uh, this was just initiated by Isaiah, but um, uh, part of this research is the Provincial Action Research and Consultation, wherein um, six provinces 
of Visayas were involved and a lot of social enterprises are really involved. Uh, just like for example in northern uh, Cebu, eastern, eastern Samar, Leyte, uh, Iloilo, Aklan, and Kapi. So a lot of social enterprises um, uh, took part with this um, consultation and it culminated in the activity, in the social enterprise consultation uh, last March 1314 in Cebu City. So through, um, through this research, um, it shows that a lot of social enterprises were um, heavily affected by Typhoon Yolanda and their operations was really affected. And um, it also shows that um, um, microfinance as a social enterprise played a big role in uh, provide, providing assistance to majority of the poor in Leyte. And um, it shows a lot of findings wherein uh, it leads us to, to, to have the, this, uh, the rise, wherein the vision of rise is Yolanda, uh, Yolanda devastated communities being built back better with SEs as transformational partners of the poor, civil society, government, and business in sustainable local economy. That's the vision of RISE. And the mission is to promote uh, program and projects for the development, resource matching, to make, um, sorry. <laughs> anyway, uh, these are the vision mission of RISE, and I think there are around 12 strategies under this, and among these strategies, I could uh, still remember especially the rehabilitating the social enterprises and undertaking social innovation programs and projects, and also undertaking projects for subsector, uh, like uh, that would benefit small producers, like the farmers, the, the, the coconut planters, and also the manufacturers and the cooperatives of people with disabilities who are manufacturers. And of course, engaging the government, the civil society, and the private sector. So, our project, FTI Shelter Habitat, Habitat and Enterprise Development, uh, we could not really implement this by ourselves, but uh, because of RICE, we were able to get some support from those who are uh, willing and interested to support our projects. For example, um, we, in, uh, we, we are also partnering with the Federation for Disabled People in Leyte, FEDPEDI, and they have around 3,000 members. And uh, the BDO Foundation supported the construction of 100 houses in uh, Santa Fe, Leyte, uh, around 50 duplex houses made of precast and a uh, partial uh, contribution for the uh, construction of multi-purpose building. Uh, right now, we are undertaking a lot of development already in the site, and we have done, uh, completed all the foundation blocks for the 100 houses, and we already um, have two uh, floors that are completed, and some of the duplex are, have already foundation blocks. So, we are uh, really having some improvement in the construction. And then if you would notice, um, um, Roman, before um, he come active with FTI and the construction, he is uh, jobless and he always stays home. But when the, the construction project started, he, become, he became the stock custodian and he has no work. And then, of course, um, because um, we wanted to engage more women with disabilities in the livelihood uh, projects of FTI, um, we also partnered with the DPI Foundation, who supported various livelihood activities of FTI. Um, like, for example, the community store, the community canteen, of course, um, the, the hollow blocks production, we also have the livestock um, raising, and then the, the microfinance were also provided with um, uh, entrepreneurs, PWD entrepreneurs, 
and uh, it's a good partnership because FPI is involved is doing the role of capacitating the, the group and um, providing skills training and the, our support institutions are providing the funds and the cooperative we, which we help to, to, to organize are the ones managing and implementing the livelihood activities. So it's really a good partnership. And uh, from the we are we are also organizing three cooperatives. Uh, we are planning to organize three cooperatives in Leyte, and we already started one, which is uh, Leyte Disabled Producers Cooperative. And this organizing effort is also foundation. And of course, our warehouse, our workshop is also uh, provided to us by FSSI and of course uh, partly by BDO Foundation. They are also uh, helping us construct the warehouse. Where in, in this area, this area will be the future place. Uh, other cooperatives are benefiting from the sculpture production. And then, of course, uh, as, um, as FTI, uh, we are also experiencing challenges and difficulties. We had some land issue problems. We had uh, some uh, people uh, intentionally damaging our back home. <laughs> and uh, of course, even expensive uh, construction supplies and sources of construction supplies. But, uh, but I guess um, we, we believe that we could still, we could overcome these um, challenges. And um, we are not as fast as the other uh, housing developers, but we are very much happy that in the process we are also providing jobs and employment to people with disabilities who are previously un un unemployed. And uh, you see, rice is synonymous with get up. So um, we are definitely trying to build back better despite the double burden that people with disability are experiencing. experiencing. And uh, definitely, if there is hope, if you could see that the plant they represent, uh, the plant that the person with disability is holding, they represent the one of the bottom lines of SE, which is care for the environment. Because by caring for the environment, we are also helping uh, to build a resilient uh, uh, environment for, for people with disability. But it's, it also uh, represents a new beginning, uh, a new uh, better future. Thank you very much.